worried about your consistency and meatballs don't worry about it girl let me just tell you the only thing you need to satisfy is your stomach not people eyes so if they got a problem tell them don't eat your shit hey y'all i'm back with the meatballs and stuff let's push y'all up i'm back with the meatballs uh i got my ground beef and I got my bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I have some seasoning already up here, but I think I might have used it. I don't know. Mm, look like I used it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half of this and make meatballs and gravy. So what I'm gonna do is, I hate, I hate touching raw meat, but I'm gonna have to touch raw meat today because I don't think I have any gloves. Ain't that right, babe? I'm gonna have to touch raw meat today. And I got some crackers. I'm gonna use an egg. I'm gonna use the egg, y'all. So I'm gonna use that. I got some seasoning. Usually, and oh, I should be trying to cut an onion. An onion. Babe, should we cut an onion in it or that's acid reflex? I'm trying to avoid acid reflex since I'm carrying it. Yeah, it's going to fly. So we're gonna just put an onion in there. A small little onion. All right. So I'm gonna cut this in. I'm gonna cut this in half, y'all. Oh, I'm so new at this. I did wash my hands, so. Don't come for me, come for your mama. I'm gonna use a little more. I think that should be enough. And then I'm gonna put this up here. Put this in this bag and freeze it for a meal or something, like a quick meal. And then I'm going to get my seasonings, y'all. I usually use, Lori, I know this has a lot of salt. I usually use the one with the less seasoning. I mean, what uh, the 50% the less sodium in it. I, I'm getting garlic powder. <clears throat> onion powder. And... I use this. This is really good. Like it's an all like an all table perfect seasoning. But they get tired of it. Um, you can also put like this in there. I'm gonna put some of that. That's thyme. It's thyme. No rosemary. This is rosemary. This is thyme leaves. I'm gonna put some of that. It'd be really good. Okay. And then, what else? I'm not gonna put no paprika because um, it's a lot of sea sodium. So that's what we're gonna use, all right? So with this, scratch it up. Whatever, I'm be so over shit lately. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my seasoning. I crunch that shit up later. So I don't put a lot of that in there. This got sodium in it too, but it don't have that much. I think this got more sodium. This got more sodium than this, so I'm gonna put a lot of this in there. 
I'm gonna put some of this onion powder, even though we're putting onions in it, but we're gonna put some onion powder. I mean, onion powder too for taste. Put some garlic powder for taste. For you pregnant ladies, if y'all getting sick off of garlic, don't use it. <laughs> I remember I went on a pregnant spree. I mean, what is that bad? I was throwing away garlic. I never brought garlic because I was so sick of my other kids too. But this time I actually tolerated it. It's not that bad this time. So I put a little bit of all these seasonings in there. So what I'm going to do is, so what else? I'm gonna throw this away. I'm gonna cut up nice and cut it. I have no particular size of what I wanna cut it. I just, just trying to get this shit done. My kids won't know the difference, no way, if they eat it. But RJ is really extremely picky, y'all. So, I'm gonna put just this little bit in there. Just a little bit, we don't need a lot because, listen, I have really bad ass reflex, okay? But if you wanna put a whole onion, you can, it's up to you. It's whatever flavor it, that desires to you, you can do that. All right. So I might add some more of this seasoning in there. So I'm going to mix it up. And then after that, let me know how you guys make your meat, I mean your meatballs. This is, I just make it like the meatloaf way. And then I just, I just, um, make it in balls and then I'm, I'm just gonna fry it like fry a little bit of it so it can stay and then do it like that okay so I'm gonna put a little bit more of this and then after that sits in What, baby? That's a man's spray. He's spraying this out of my face. Thank you. A little more. So your ground beef, you really need to season your ground beef. Mommy, if you, yes, baby. Can I have, um, a no, I'm cooking. Can you wait? I'm cooking. I watch you. You just stand here and watch me. Yeah. So I'm gonna put an egg in there, but first I'm gonna crush these up. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have bag crushing up because I'm tired of this. Here, look. They do a lot of stuff that's be irritating. I'm like, here, you go in here and just crush it up for me. So yeah, I just keep you keep working it in here, y'all. You know, I can smell it. It smells really good already. So you keep on working it in there. You really want to season your ground beef. Thank you, girl. So I'm not gonna use this whole bag. I'm going to use a little bit of it. And then since I touch ground beef, it got spoiled over. I don't want to put it in steak. And then I just cry. I try to crush it up a little finer. Meatballs and mashed potatoes. Didn't I tell you that already? Meatballs, mashed potatoes. Yeah, my kids eat this like it's going out of style.
And if you're vegetarian or you prefer not to eat this, Impossible, um, they have like an Impossible ground beef that they have meatballs. And plus they have um, Impossible um, meatballs too that's already made. It tastes just like meatballs. It is so good. My kids tore it up and they didn't know it wasn't meat, so. If you're trying to think a little healthier, the only reason why I'm not doing that is because this baby prefer meat. It's not for the play with me. It wants protein. It's not playing with me when it comes down to meat. It's all they want. Now, I'm gonna put an egg in there. And then we're gonna mix it up again. I got meat all in my nails, I hate it. But whatever. Meat all over the nails? Yeah, I'm gonna have to really deep wash my hands. Bleach on it. Ugh. That's gross. Okay, so I'm gonna put some more. You know, you do this by eyesight. If you feel like it's too loose, all means put more crackers in in it. <gasps> Where I, I, I. Mom, what is this string? Mom, what is this fresh string? Okay, I'm gonna scoop this over. You get a plate and then you get a small little piece. Make sure it got crackers in it and you just roll it, okay? Roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. This is a pretty big meatball. So you, you could do it a little bit smaller if you want to. And you could save some. Two, you could freeze some up. And you could save some for another day. Professional. This is the way I chose to do it, okay, y'all? It's just the way I do things. 
That's not why I Three. think. Oh my god, shit, I tried that. Okay, there, go on. No. Oh, shit. Oh, dang it. Uh-oh. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. Don't do that. You're going to mess your hair up. No. Because that's why I always do when I got my hair tied. I mean, braid. No, you don't. You're going to mess. What? what did I just tell you? Okay. Doritos or something? What? What Doritos? No. Doritos. Doritos? No. Wait, why I smell like Doritos? I don't. Because I come to school and I smell like a Doritos. Y'all do not like to walk. I mean, Mom, I like Doritos. Is that a problem? So this is how they're going to look, but we're going to fry them. So I'm going to try to make as much as I can right now so we can get this over with. <clears throat> I'm going to put some oil in here once it dry out. Just put a little bit of grease and then I'm going to put my meatballs in here. So I'm going to put my meatballs in here. My skillet get kind of hot. I'm going to put it on medium. Because my fire, well, you know, I got regular fire. And this should just be. And this makes its own grease, too. But I just don't want it to stick. And then it will ruin the meatballs. Okay? Okay, and that's not enough. So, what I'm gonna do is, let me show you. This is how it's looking. And you want to brown each side before you decide taking them out. So, it should be a little brown on each side. So, I'm gonna put it lower because I don't want it to burn. Like that. And with this, you cannot like just throw it in the gravy and be like, okay, it's done. You have to actually burn, I mean, brown both sides before you make, before you proceed on to make, putting it in here in your gravy. Okay? I'm going to show y'all all all that too. Okay. So this is how it's supposed to look. Just like that. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to put them in this pot. I'm going to put gravy in here first before I do that, but I'm going to finish making these meatballs, so I'm going to come back and I'll be back. So this is how they're looking so far. They look so good. They're not all the way done. This is breadcrumbs, so. <clears throat> they're not all the way done yet, but they look really good. So I'm just going to put some water in this bowl right here okay i'm gonna pour it in there and then i'm gonna put some more water in this bowl i'm gonna pour it in here and i'm just gonna keep doing the water in here so you gotta make sure you put enough water in here so it's covering the meatballs there you go so I just want to stir up some of the bottom. That's why I use so much gravy. 
and then I'm gonna turn it on about medium. I'm gonna cover it because some of this water is going to boil down. And then I'm gonna wash this pot out and put regular potatoes in it so we can do the mashed potatoes. And then there you go, all of that and some. And if you worried about your consistency and meatballs, don't worry about it, girl. Let me just tell you, the only thing you need to satisfy is your stomach, not people's eyes. So if they got a problem, tell them don't eat your shit. That's all I'm gonna say, and that's it. But yes, so I will be back once these simmer down. Cut the potatoes up and stuff. So I will be back, girl. Y'all, right, I'm back. So I'm gonna put all my seasonings up. I got my water, y'all. Y'all just don't know. I wonder how many times you guys wash your hands after you get done touching ground beef. I wash my hands like three to four times, y'all. I do not play. I hate that shit. Um, what else? I'm fit to cut up these potatoes. to cut up these potatoes, y'all. I just washed my counter down because it was raw ground beef on there. I just don't play like that. I don't know what it is, raw meat. I just hate it. I hate raw meat. I hate it. I don't know. I hate touching it. I hate everything that has to do with raw meat, okay? So we finna cut chest. So we're gonna cut up some potatoes. I'm not peeling potatoes. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show y'all something. Hold on. I'm gonna show y'all something, okay? Let me show y'all something. Let me put my towel over there. Let me show y'all something. I get these golden potatoes. They are so good and you can eat the skin. That's what I do. For sure if I'm gonna need more. So yeah, they said they want blogs. They like that. So I'm just gonna cut them. They watch you get ready, they watch you do everyday shit. Cut them any type of way you like, okay? Because we could have mashed these, okay? The smaller you cut them, the faster they cook. But I don't care about how fast I'm going to be cooking them because I am going to boil them, so it doesn't matter. I'm about to buy the, uh, the tank. That's going to be a cloud for 
Refrigerator duty. ground beef. It's cooking pretty good. See? They still look like meatballs. See? Lord have... Oops. So they still look like meatballs, y'all. See? See? Lord have mercy. I hope this is enough. My kids mm. love meatballs. All right, so I'm gonna let that simmer and I will be back and I'm gonna drink my water and relax. A little water. So I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna put the butter in here. Babe, that's what, they is putting on the corn for me, I guess. I'm gonna put some butter and get some butter. Yeah, so I'm gonna put some butter. Oh, I'm 
Yeah, I'm so tired. Alright, you see it in the corner? Not yet, you gotta let it boil. Let's take the corn and fry some corn. They think he a, he a damn chef or something. I am Chef Boyardee. What do y'all put in y'all mashed potatoes? I usually do garlic. I love garlic and cheese in my mashed potatoes. But then I might do it different. I don't even mash it like all the way. Because I ain't got time, y'all. I'm tired. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some garlic. <laughs> That's what I just think of y'all. I was gonna put I'm gonna put some garlic in here. Cause garlic mash is nah I ain't gonna do it. What a bag. I'm making the food, baby. You hungry? Yeah. Oh, baby, stay hungry. That's all he do is eat. So yeah, I'm just mashing these potatoes, y'all. Mashing them. I'm just using my fork. I'm not, listen. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but this pregnancy got me like, I don't give a fuck what these look like, but I'm trying to make something because you guys love, 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 love. My cook with me video that I made. So, a lot of people requested the cook with me videos again. So, I'm going to make that for my people. So, yeah, this is, this is what we cooking. And no, we do not cook every day. So. And I just put milk in here just if it's too thick. I just keep adding milk. And I'm the type of person that's going to keep on adding. I like butter too. I think I'm going to put a little bit of this in it. Just a tad bit. To give it a little flavor. And then I'm going to put some. A little bit of this. That's it. Just a shake. Just a shake y'all. Just a shake. Get out of there. He be in there eating. So y'all can see. This is how it look, y'all. So I still feel like it's still kind of thick. My kids don't like mashed potatoes that thick. My kids do not like mashed potatoes that thick. Now y'all Messing with that cat. Yeah. Don't come for me, come for your mama, okay? That's all I'm saying. Talking to these people. Talking to y'all TTs. How many TTs y'all got? I don't know. How many TTs you got, Daddy? How many TTs? You got RJ. I said I don't know. I don't know how many. We got a whole bunch of TTs. And I can't count. We got 2,000. Who got? <laughs> Look, y'all. My baby. And we my got two. Listen. How many TTs do you think you got? 20. 2,000. 36. No, I think we had. No, we had. Two thousand and sixty-two TTs, and maybe it's a couple what uncles in there too. It's a couple uncles in there too. You got a lot of TTs and uncles, don't you? And cousins. No, these only TTs and uncles. Okay. Add that right, y'all. These are only TTs and uncles. Why? So you gonna go to school and say you got two thousand? I'm never gonna remember that number though. <laughs> What? 2,000 is an easy number to remember. 
No, the rest of the numbers. Is that 15,000? Not right now, when you get done eating. I'm glad to make cutting candy. I mean, not cutting candy. Okay. And why is it ready up downstairs? I don't know. That's the thing, when I'm upstairs, everybody's down. This is the mashed potatoes, y'all. It's looking really good. Here is the meatballs. They finally done. Bag out the corn on. Here is the plate. Our food is finally done, y'all. Smoking hot and ready. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching my video. I will see y'all next time.